Now, virtual reality first made a buzz in the late 80s and early 90s thanks to NASA, universities, and gaming companies. VR has come a long way since then, including the ways in which it's used. Our Derek James shows us how today's VR is being implemented by a Twin Cities mental health provider to treat fears, phobias, and anxiety. All right, here goes. Ellie Mental Health in Mendota Heights is using virtual reality to bring the outside world. I am up very high into its office. This isn't a video game. I have open area in front of me and I have railings on the side of me. It's therapy. And what are you noticing internally? For working with someone who has a fear of flying, we can't really get on a plane with them, right? But what we can do with VR is we can bring a plane into that therapy room. I asked Austin Jacobson, Ellie's virtual reality therapy co-manager, to demonstrate the software he uses. I feel a little shaky. To transport to a situation that creates anxiety for me, heights. Your front brain and your hind brain, they're not communicating. So all that's happening is your hind brain is going, we're up high, we're up high, we're up high. So you're having that immediate fear response. Through virtual reality exposure therapy, I safely face my fear while receiving tools to calm and cope. Take note where you are right now and then do some square breathing. The idea with this stuff is we're trying to re regain some sort of control over what's called your autonomic nervous system. That's your fight or flight response. This form of therapy already has a success rate of between 66 and 90% in treating PTSD. Ellie also incorporates VR in everyday therapy sessions to put clients at ease. If they find being on a beach comforting, yeah, let's put them on a beach or maybe even put them in a more creative space so then they can express themselves, you know, non-verbally. Back on the crane ledge. But I could try to take a few steps out here. You can absolutely take a few steps. After taking a few steps high above the city, this session is coming to an end. Feel free to take off the headset right there. I'm not going to make you walk back on the crane. It's also weird, the spatial relationship of how far I actually yeah. walked. You you walked a good amount. I can take that. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not embarrassed to say I it definitely got sweaty. While my demonstration session was more rapid, Jacobson says it typically takes 6 to 12 sessions to experience results. He says it's a tool, not a cure-all. None of them are magic wands. They're all different ways to work on the, the same sort of thing and these different modalities resonate with different people. In Mendota Heights, Derek James, WCCO News. Ellie Mental Health's virtual reality therapy is covered by insurance. The therapy is expanding to other Ellie clinics in Edina, Minnetonka, and Minneapolis.